A carriage is a wheeled vehicle for people, usually horse-drawn. Litters and sedan chairs are excluded, since they are wheelless vehicles. The carriage is especially designed for private passenger use and for comfort or elegance, though some are also used to transport goods. It may be light, smart and fast or heavy, large and comfortable. Carriages normally have suspension using leaf springs, elliptical springs or leather strapping. A public passenger vehicle would not usually be called a carriage a Euro terms for such include stagecoach, charabank and omnibus. Working vehicles such as the wagon and cart share important parts of the history of the carriage, as is the fast chariot. Overview The word carriage is from Old Northern French carriage, to carry in a vehicle. The word car, then meaning a kind of two-wheeled cart for goods, also came from Old Northern French about the beginning of the 14th century. It was also used for railway carriages, and was extended to cover automobile all around the end of the 19th century, when early models were called horseless carriages. A carriage is sometimes called a team, as in horse and team. A carriage with its horse is a rig. An elegant horse-drawn carriage with its retinue of servants is an equipage. A carriage together with the horses, harness and attendants is a turnout or set-out. A procession of carriages is a cavalcade. History equals Prehistory equals, some horse carts found in Celtic graves show hints that their platforms were suspended elastically. Four-wheeled wagons were used in prehistoric Europe, and their form known from excavations suggests that the basic construction techniques of wheel and undercarriage were established then. Equals chariot equals, the earliest recorded sort of carriage was the chariot in Mesopotamia as early as 3000 BC. Used typically for warfare by Egyptians, the Near Easterners and Europeans, it was essentially a two-wheeled light basin carrying one or two passengers, drawn by one to two horses. The chariot was revolutionary and effective because it delivered fresh warriors to crucial areas of battle with swiftness. Equals Roman carriage equals, 1st century BC Romans used sprung wagons for overland journeys. It is likely that Roman carriages employed some form of suspension on chains or leather straps, as indicated by carriage parts found in excavations. Equals ancient Chinese carriage equals, the kingdoms of the Zhou dynasty and warring states were also known to have used carriages as transportation. With the decline of these civilizations these techniques almost disappeared. Equals medieval carriage equals. The medieval carriage was typically a four-wheeled wagon type, with a rounded top similar in appearance to the Conestoga wagon familiar from the USA. Sharing the traditional form of wheels and undercarriage known since the Bronze Age, it very likely also employed the pivoting four-axle in continuity from the ancient world. Suspension is recorded in visual images and written accounts from the 14th century, and was in widespread use by the 15th century. Carriages were largely used by royalty, aristocrats, and could be elaborately decorated and gilded. These carriages were on four wheels often and were pulled by two to four horses depending on how they were decorated. Wood and iron were the primary requirements needed to build a carriage and carriages that were used by non-royalty were covered by plain leather. Another form of the carriage was the pageant wagon of the 14th century. Historians debate on the structure and size of pageant wagons however, they are generally miniature house-like structures that rest on four to six wheels depending on the size of the wagon. The pageant wagon is significant because up until the 14th century most carriages were on two or three wheels. The chariot, rocking carriage, and baby carriage are two examples of carriages which predate the pageant wagon. Historians also debate whether or not pageant wagons were built with pivotal axle systems, which allowed the wheels to turn. Whether it was a four- or six-wheel pageant wagon, most historians maintain that pivotal axle systems were implemented on pageant wagons because many roads were often winding with some sharp turns. Six-wheel pageant wagons also represent another innovation in carriages. They were one of the first carriages to use multiple pivotal axles. Pivotal axles were used on the front set of wheels and the middle set of wheels. This allowed the horse to move freely and steer the carriage in accordance with the road or path. Equals coach equals. One of the great innovations of the carriage was the invention of the suspended carriage or the chariot Branlant. 
the chariot brand land of medieval illustrations was suspended by chains rather than leather straps as had been believed. Chains provided a smoother ride in the chariot brand land because the compartment no longer rested on the turning axles. In the 15th century, carriages were made lighter and needed only one horse to hold the carriage. This carriage was designed and innovated in Hungary. Both innovations appeared around the same time and historians believe that people began comparing the chariot Brandland and the Hungarian light coach. However, the earliest illustrations of the Hungarian Kwachai wagon do not indicate any suspension, and often the use of three horses in harness. Under King Matthias Corvinus, who enjoyed fast travel, the Hungarians developed fast road transport, and the town of Cox between Budapest and Vienna became an important post town and gave its name to the new vehicle type. The Hungarian coach was highly praised because it was capable of holding eight men, used light wheels, could be towed by only one horse. Ultimately it was the Hungarian coach that generated a greater buzz of conversation than the chariot Brandland of France because it was a much smoother ride. Henceforth, the Hungarian coach spread across Europe rather quickly, in part due to Ippolito d'Est of Ferrara, nephew of Matthias Queen Beatrix of Aragon, who as a very junior archbishopric of Estegom developed a liking of Hungarian riding and took his carriage and driver back to Italy. Around 1550 the coach made its appearance throughout the major cities of Europe, and the new word entered the vocabulary of all their languages. However, the new coach seems to have been a concept as much as any particular type of vehicle, and there is no obvious change that accompanied the innovation. As it moved throughout Europe in the late 16th century, the coach a Euro 1 registered trademark S body structure was ultimately changed, from a round top to the four poster carriages that became standard by C1600. Equals later development of the coach equals. The coach had doors in the side, with an iron step protected by leather that became the boot in which servants might ride. The driver sat on a seat at the front and the most important occupant sat in the back facing forwards. The earliest coaches can be seen at Vest Coburg, Lisbon, and the Moscow Kremlin, and they become a commonplace in European art. It was not until the 17th century that further innovations with steel springs and glazing took place, and only in the 18th century, with better road surfaces, was there a major innovation with the introduction of the steel sea spring. It was not until the 18th century that steering systems were truly improved. Erasmus Darwin was a young English doctor who was driving a carriage about 10,000 miles a year to visit patients all over England. Darwin found two essential problems or shortcomings of the commonly used light carriage or Hungarian carriage. First, the front wheels were turned by a pivoting front axle, which had been used for years, but these wheels were often quite small and hence the rider carriage and horse felt the brunt of every bump on the road. Secondly, he recognized the danger of overturning. A pivoting front axle changes a carriage a Euro unregistered trademark S base from a rectangle to a triangle because the wheel on the inside of the turn is able to turn more sharply than the outside front wheel. Darwin proposed to fix these insufficiencies by proposing a principle in which the two front wheels turn about a center that lies on the extended line of the back axle. This idea was later patented as Ackerman steering. Darwin argued that carriages would then be easier to pull and less likely to overturn. Carriage use in North America came with the establishment of European settlers. Early colonial horse tracks quickly grew into roads especially as the colonists extended their territories southwest. Colonists began using carts as these roads and trading increased between the north and south. Eventually carriages or coaches were sought to transport goods as well as people. As in Europe, chariots, coaches and or carriages were a mark of status. The tobacco planters of the South were some of the first Americans to use the carriage as a form of human transportation. As the tobacco farming industry grew in the southern colonies so did the frequency of carriages, coaches and wagons. Upon the turn of the 18th century wheeled vehicle use in the colonies was at an all-time high. Carriages, coaches and wagons were being taxed based on the number of wheels they had. These taxes were implemented in the South primarily as the South had superior numbers of horses and wheeled vehicles when compared to the North. Europe, however, 
still used carriage transportation far more often and on a much larger scale than anywhere else in the world. Carriages and coaches began to disappear as use of steam propulsion began to generate more and more interest and research. Steam power quickly won the battle against animal power as is evident by a newspaper article written in England in 1895 entitled Horse Flesh vs. Steam. The article highlights the death of the carriage as the means of transportation. Nowadays, carriages are still used for day-to-day -day transport in the United States by some minority groups such as the Amish. They are also still used in the tourism as vehicles for sightseeing in cities such as Bruges, Vienna, New Orleans, and Little Rock, Arkansas. The most complete working collection of carriages can be seen at the Royal Mews in London where a large selection of vehicles is in regular use. These are supported by a staff of liveried coachmen, footmen and postilions. The horses earn their keep by supporting the work of the royal household, particularly during ceremonial events. Horses pulling a large carriage known as a covered brake collect the yeomen of the guard in their distinctive red uniforms from St. James's Palace for investitures at Buckingham Palace. High commissioners or ambassadors are driven to their audiences with the Queen in Landors. Visiting heads of state are transported to and from official arrival ceremonies and members of the royal family are driven in royal muse coaches during Trooping the Colour. The Order of the Garter service at Windsor Castle and carriage processions at the beginning of each day of Royal Ascot. Construction. Equals body equals. Carriages may be enclosed or open, depending on the type. The top cover for the body of a carriage, called the head or hood, is often flexible and designed to be folded back when desired. Such a folding top is called a bellows top or calage. A hoop stick forms a light framing member for this kind of hood. The top, roof or second-story compartment of a closed carriage, especially a diligence, was called an imperial. A closed carriage may have side windows called quarter lights as well as windows in the doors, hence a glass coach. On the forepart of an open carriage, a screen of wood or leather called a dashboard intercepts water, mud or snow thrown up by the heels of the horses. The dashboard or carriage top sometimes has a projecting sidepiece called a wing. A foot iron or foot plate may serve as a carriage step. A carriage driver sits on a box or perch, usually elevated and small. When at the front it is known as a dicky box, a term also used for a seat at the back for servants. A footman might use a small platform at the rear called a footboard or a seat called a rumble behind the body. Some carriages have a movable seat called a jump seat. Some seats had an attached backrest called a lazy back. The shafts of a carriage were called limbers in English dialect. Lancewood, a tough elastic wood of various trees, was often used especially for carriage shafts. A holdback, consisting of an iron catch on the shaft with a looped strap, enables a horse to back or hold back the vehicle. The end of the tongue of a carriage is suspended from the collars of the harness by a bar called the yoke. At the end of a trace, a loop called a cocky attaches to the carriage. In some carriage types the body is suspended from several leather straps called braces or thorough braces, attached to or serving as springs. Equals undergear equals, beneath the carriage body is the undergear or undercarriage, consisting of the running gear and chassis. The wheels and axles, in distinction from the body, are the running gear. The wheels revolve upon bearings or a spindle at the ends of a bar or beam called an axle or axle tree. Most carriages have either one or two axles. On a four-wheeled vehicle, the forward part of the running gear, or fore carriage, is arranged to permit the front axle to turn independently of the fixed rear axle. In some carriages a dropped axle, bent twice at a right angle near the ends, allows a low body with large wheels. The guard called a dirtboard keeps dirt from the axle arm. Several structural members form parts of the chassis supporting the carriage body. The four-axle tree and the splinter bar above it are united by a piece of wood or metal called a footchel, which forms a socket for the pole that extends from the front axle. For strength and support, a rod called the backstay may extend from either end of the rear axle to the reach, the pole or rod joining the hind axle to the forward bolster above the front axle. A skid called a drag, drag shoe, shoe or skid pan retards the motion of the wheels. A catch or block called a trigger may be used to hold a wheel on a declivity. 
a horizontal wheel or segment of a wheel called a fifth wheel sometimes forms an extended support to prevent the carriage from tipping. It consists of two parts rotating on each other about the king bolt above the fore axle and beneath the body. A block of wood called a head block might be placed between the fifth wheel and the forward spring. Equals pony trap or horse trap equals. A trap, pony trap or horse trap is a light, often sporty, two-wheeled or sometimes four-wheeled horse-drawn carriage, accommodating usually two to four persons in various seating arrangements, such as face-to-face -face or back-to-back. Equals Tonga Tanga equals. A Tanga or Tonga is a light horse-drawn carriage used for transportation in India, Pakistan, and Bangladesh. Tangas are a popular mode of transportation because they are fun to ride in, and are usually cheaper to hire than a taxi or rickshaw. However, in many cities, Tangas are not allowed to use highways because of their slow pace. In Pakistan, Tangas are mainly found in the older parts of cities and towns, and are becoming less popular for utilitarian travel and more popular for pleasure. Tangas have become a traditional feature of weddings and other social functions in Pakistan, as well as in other nations. They are usually pulled by two horses, though some require only one. Others are designed for farm work. The room under the seats is sometimes used by the coachman to keep his horse's food and sometimes to keep luggage, if required. Tangas are used for economic activity, mainly to carry heavy goods within the city limits. Tangas were the most common means of transport in urban India and Pakistan until the early 1980s. Although auto rickshaws have overtaken them in popularity, tangas are still common today in many cities and villages. Equals volante equals, a volante is a two-wheeled, one or two-passenger Spanish carriage formerly much used in Cuba. The axle was behind an open, hooded body. The carriage was driven by a rider on the horse. Equals Araba equals. An Araba is a carriage, wagon or cart drawn by horses or oxen, used in Turkey and neighboring Middle Eastern countries. It is usually heavy and without springs, and often covered. Equals Words related to carriages equals, the names of many of these have now passed into obscurity but some have been adopted to describe automotive car body styles, Cooper Copyright, Victoria, Brougham, Landor and Landolette, Cabriolet. Phaeton, and Limousine Euro all these once denoted particular types of carriages. Miscellany. A man whose business was to drive a carriage was a coachman. A servant in livery called a footman or peaker formerly served in attendance upon a rider or was required to run before his master's carriage to clear the way. An attendant on horseback called an outrider often rode ahead of or next to a carriage. A carriage starter directed the flow of vehicles taking on passengers at the curbside. A hackney man hired out horses and carriages. When hawking wares, a hawker was often assisted by a carriage. Upper class people of wealth and social position, those wealthy enough to keep carriages, were referred to as carriage folk or carriage trade. Carriage passengers often used a lap robe as a blanket or similar covering for their legs, lap and feet. A buffalo robe made from the hide of an American bison dressed with the hair on, was sometimes used as a carriage robe. It was commonly trimmed to rectangular shape and lined on the skin side with fabric. A carriage boot, fur trimmed for winter wear, was made usually of fabric with a fern or felt lining. A knee boot protected the knees from rain or splatter. A horse especially bred for carriage use by appearance and stylish action is called a carriage horse. One for use on the road is a road horse. One such breed is the Cleveland Bay, uniformly bay in color, of good conformation and strong constitution. Horses were broken in using a bodiless carriage frame called a brake or brake. A carriage dog or coach dog is bred for running beside a carriage. A roofed structure that extends from the entrance of a building over an adjacent driveway and that shelters callers as they get in or out of their vehicles is known as a carriage porch or port cochere. An outbuilding for a carriage is a coach house, which was often combined with accommodation for a groom or other servants. A livery stable kept horses and usually carriages for hire. A range of stables, usually with carriage houses and living quarters built around a yard, court or street, is called a muse. A kind of dynamometer called a pyrometer indicates the power necessary to haul a carriage over a road or track. 
Competitive driving. In most European and English-speaking countries, driving is a competitive equestrian sport. Many horse shows host driving competitions for a particular style of driving, breed of horse, or type of vehicle. Show vehicles are usually carriages, carts, or buggies and, occasionally, sulkies or wagons. Modern high-technology carriages are made purely for competition by companies such as Bennington Carriages. In England, terminology varies, the simple, lightweight two- or four-wheel show vehicle common in many nations is called a cart in the USA, but a carriage in Australia. Internationally, there is intense competition in the all-round test of driving, combined driving, also known as horse driving trials, an equestrian discipline regulated by the FAR Copyright DAO Copyright Ration Permail Questa International with national organizations representing each member country. World Championships are conducted in alternate years, including single horse, horse pairs and four-in-hand championships. The World Equestrian Games, held at four-year intervals, also includes a four-in-hand competition. For pony drivers, the World Combined Pony Championships are held every two years and include singles, pairs and four-in-hand events. Types of horse-drawn carriages an almost bewildering variety of horse-drawn carriages existed. Arthur Ingram's horse-drawn vehicles since 1760 in color lists 325 types with a short description of each. By the early 19th century one's choice of carriage was only in part based on practicality and performance. It was also a status statement and subject to changing fashions. The types of carriage included the following. Carriage collections equals Australia equals, Cobb plus Company Museum a Euro National Carriage Collection, Queensland Museum, Toowoomba, Queensland. The National Trust of Australia Carriage Collection. Equals Austria equals, Museum of Carriages and Department of Court Uniforms, Kunstfistrisches Museum, Vienna. Equals Belgium equals, VZW Rita Museum Brie, Brie, Limburg, De Groom Carriage Centre Bruges, Brug. West Flanders, Coeston Museum Vedonct. Equals Brazil equals. National Historical Museum in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, Imperial Museum in Petra Cubed Polis, Brazil. Equals Canada equals, the Remington Carriage Museum in Cardston, Alberta, Canada, the Campbell Carriage Factory Museum in Sackville, New Brunswick, Canada, King's Landing Historical Settlement in Prince William, New Brunswick, Canada, has a large collection of horse and oxen drawn vehicles. Equals Denmark equals, Royal Carriage Museum, Christiansborg Palace, Copenhagen. Equals Egypt equals, Carriage Museum. Equals France equals, Palace of Versailles, the Versailles Stables. Equals Germany equals, Museum of Carriages and Sleighs in the former Royal Stables, Nymphenburg Palace, Munich. Hess Museum of Carriages and Sleighs in Lochfelden near Kassel. Equals Netherlands equals, National Rita Museum, Leek in Groningen. Equals Poland equals, Angstrom or Cut Castle. Equals Portugal equals, National Coach Museum, Lisbon, Giras do Lima Carriage Museum. Equals United Kingdom equals, Mossman Collection, Luton, Bedfordshire, Royal Muse at Buckingham Palace, London. Swingle Tree Carriage Collection. John Parker Swingle Tree Carriage Driving, Swingle Tree, Winfield, Ann R. Dis, Norfolk, National Trust Carriage Museum, Allington Court, near Barnstaple, Devon, the Tewite Drake Museum of Carriages, Maidstone, Kent. Equals United States equals. Florida Carriage Museum, Wearsdale, Florida. Formerly Austin Carriage Museum. Skyline Farm Carriage Museum, North Yarmouth, Maine, the Carriage Collection of the Owl's Head Transportation Museum, Owl's Head, Maine. The Carriage Museum, Washington, Kentucky, Carriage Museum of America, Lexington, Kentucky, Henry Ford Museum, Dearborn, Michigan, the Long Island Museum of American Art, History and Carriages, Stony Brook, New York, Pioneer Village, Farmington, Utah. Thrasher Carriage Museum, Frostburg, Maryland, 
the Wesley W. Young Carriage Museum, Greenbush, Wisconsin, Shelburne Museum, Shelburne, Vermont, Forney Museum of Transportation, Denver, Colorado, Midlinburg Buggy Museum, Midlinburg, PA. Only museum in U.S. that preserves an original intact 19th century carriage factory. See also, horse-drawn vehicle, horse harness, driving, hodar, wagon. Notes. Further reading, Bean, Hike, and Sarah Blanchard, Joan Muller, Carriage Driving, A Logical Approach Through Dressage Training, Howell Books, 1992. ISBN 978-0-7645-7299-9, nine Burke Bile, Don H., American Carriages, Sleighs, Sulkies, and Carts, 168 Illustrations from Victorian Sources, Dover Publications, 1977. ISBN 978-0-486-23328-4. Boyer, Marjorie Nice. Medieval Suspended Carriages. Speculum, V34 N3, 359 Euro 366. Boyer, Marjorie Nice. Medieval Suspended Carriages. Cambridge, Massachusetts The Medieval Academy of America, 1959. OCLC 493631378. Bristol Wagon Works Company, Bristol Wagon and Carriage Illustrated Catalogue, 1900, Dover Publications, 1994. ISBN 978-0-486-28123-0. Elkhart Manufacturing Company, Horse Drawn Carriage Catalogue, 1909, Dover Publications, 2001. ISBN 978 0 486 41531 4. Hutchins, Daniel D., Wheels Across America, Carriage Art and Craftsmanship, Tempo International Publishing Company, 1st Edition, 2004. ISBN 978-0-9745106-0-6, Ingram, Arthur, Horse-Drawn Vehicles Since 1760 in Color, Blandford Press, 1977. ISBN 978-0-7137-0820-2, two, King Heel, Desmond. Erasmus Darwin's Improved Design for Steering Carrier Giza Euro and cars. Notes and records of the Royal Society of London, 56, No. 1, 41 Euro 62. Kinney, Thomas A., The Carriage Trade, Making Horse-Drawn Vehicles in America, The Johns Hopkins University Press, 2004. ISBN 978-0-8018-7946-3, Lawrence, Bradley and Paddy, Carriages and Sleighs, 228 illustrations from the 1862 Lawrence, Bradley and Paddy Catalogue, Dover Publications, 1998. ISBN 978-0-486-40219-2, Museums at Stony Brook, The Carriage Collection, Museums, 2000. ISBN 978-0-943924-0. Nelson Allen H. Six-Wheeled Carts, An Underview. Technology and Culture, V13 N3, 391 Euro 416. Richardson, M.T., Practical Carriage Building, Astragal Press, 1994. ISBN 978-1-879335-50-9, Ryder, Thomas, Roger Morrow, The Cozon Carriage Collection at Beachdale, The Carriage Association of America, 1989. OCLC 21311481. Wackenagel, Rudolf H., Whittlespatch State and Ceremonial Carriages, Coaches. Sledges and sedan chairs in the Marstall Museum Schloss Nymphenburg, Arnold Verlag Sandstilt GmbH, 2002. ISBN 978-3-925369-86-5. Walrond, Sally, 
Looking at Carriages, J. A. Allen and Colorado, 1999. ISBN 978-0-85131-552-2, -85 where, ID, Coachmakers Illustrated Handbook, 1875, containing complete instructions in all the different branches of carriage building, Astragal Press, 2nd edition, 1995. ISBN 978-1-879335-61-5, Westerman, William Lynn. On Inland Transportation and Communication in Antiquity. Political Science Quarterly, v. 43 n. 3. 364 Euro 387. Colonial Roads and Wheeled Vehicles. The William and Mary Quarterly, V8 N1, 37 a Euro 42. OCLC 4907170562. External links, 19th Century American Carriages, Their Manufacture, Decoration and Use. By Museums at Stony Brook, Stony Brook, New York. 1987 Long Island Digital Books Project, Contentum Collection, Stony Brook University, Southampton, New York, 19th Century Transportation Carriages. University of North Carolina at Charlotte. All About Romance Novels A Euro Carriages in Regency and Victorian Times. Appendix to Cadillac Styling Section. The Classic Car Nection, Jan Saunders, Cadillac Database. Drawings and Text, Car and Line, Carriage Tour Carriage Association of America. Photos and Text. Calisphere a Euro a World of Digital Resources. Search Carriage. University of California. Hundreds of Photos. Carriage House and Carriage Parts. ThinkQuest Library. Illustrations and Text. Colonial Carriage Works a Euro America's Finest Selection of Horse-Drawn Vehicles. Columbus, Wisconsin. Driving for Pleasure, or the Harness Stable and its Appointments by Francis Underhill, 1896. Carnegie Mellon University. A comprehensive overview, with photographs of horse-drawn carriages in use at the turn of the 19th century. Full text free to read, with free full text search. An encyclopedia of domestic economy, comprising subjects connected with the interests of every individual. By Thomas Webster and William Parks, 1855. Book XXIII, Carriages. Google Book Search. Dr. Brown with Horses and Carriage, Charters Towers, circa 1890. This photo is held by John Oxley Library, State Library of Queensland. English Pleasure Carriages, Their Origin, History, Varieties, Materials, Construction, Defects, Improvements, and Capabilities with an analysis of the construction of common roads and railroads, and the public vehicles used on them. Together with descriptions of new inventions by William Bridges Adams, 1837. Google Book Search. Four-wheeled vehicles. The Guild of Model Wheel Rights. Galaxy of Images Smithsonian Institution Libraries. Carriages and Sleighs. Georgian Index A Euro Carriages. Georgian Index. Illustrations and Text. The History of Coaches, by George Athel Stainthrop, 1877. Google Book Search. Horse-drawn transportation clip art etc. Educational Technology Clearinghouse, University of South Florida. Drawings. JASNA Northern California Region. Jane Austen Society of North America. Illustrations and Text. The Kinross Carriage Works, Sterling, 1802 a Euro 1966. Lexic du Cheval. Lexicon of Carriage Driving. Modern Carriages, by W. Jill Bay, 1905. The University of Hong Kong Libraries, China Euro America Digital Academic Library. Online information article about carriage originally appearing in the 1911 Encyclopedia Britannica. Passenger Vehicles The Guild of Model Wheel Rights. Illustrations and Text. Science and Society Picture Library A Euro Search Illustrations and Text. Treatise on Carriages. Comprehending Coaches, Chariots, Phaetons, Curricles, Whiskies, and C. D. 
together with their proper harness. In which the fair prices of every article are accurately stated, by William Felton, Coachmaker, 1794. Google Book Search. TTM Web Texas Transportation Museum, San Antonio. Photos and Text. Wheeled Vehicles. The New York Times, October 29, 1871, page 2.